Hi, my name is Karen Shelburne, and um, for those of you who were at the uh, Monday night uh, Pampered Chef meeting, Anne's Pampered Chef meeting, uh, I spoke a little bit about the new virtual party experience training, and Anne asked me if I would be willing to do a quick video and share my experience with that and maybe do a little pre-training. Um, and encourage all of you to take advantage of the training that has been made available to us. Um, and I'm happy to do that because it is amazing training. A couple of weeks ago, you may have gotten in your uh, email box an invitation to join a live Facebook uh, training session. And so um, before, just to kind of set this up, I wanted to share, I didn't know if you had been um, able to partake in part of that, and I wasn't able to find it recorded anywhere. That's not to say it wasn't recorded, but I couldn't find it. And so I just wanted to share a little bit of why they did um, all of the training, why the home office did all of this great training for us and um, created these resources for us. Um, so I wanted to share a little bit about what um, Pampered Chef has been doing over the last year. And for those of you who know me, you know that I need my eyes or I can't see. And yes, I had to jot down notes. Um, but they did a ton of research to find out um, what would make us successful and more successful in um, doing virtual parties. Um, they did, uh, they looked at 916 pilot shows. They looked at, uh, they questioned 247 active consultants 437 guest slash host surveys, 195 consultant surveys, 27 guest host slash host interviews, and then 75 consultant interviews. Those were my notes that I jotted down while I looked at that little Facebook Live um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, but they were very interested in finding out what people liked, what they didn't like. Um, traditionally, uh, virtual parties have about 30% 30, uh, 30 less sales than the live in-home parties. And so they wanted to see what are, what are the dynamics of that and how can they help us be more successful because more and more we're seeing people go that direction of wanting to do things in a virtual world rather than in an in-home party. Now, I still love in-home parties. Um, but I have done virtual parties over the last year. I'm a pretty new consultant. I've been using Pampered Chef for years, um, 25 years plus, but I've only been a, a consultant for a little bit over a year. And so I'm somewhat, con I'm com somewhat comfortable with technology, but I have to admit putting together those virtual parties were a challenge for me because I felt like I needed to make them my own and yet putting together graphics and then wording and everything else was really challenging for me. Even though I had the benefit of a lot of um, Facebook groups, uh, which are fantastic, and I encourage you to look up Pampered Chef Virtual Party and join some of those groups. They're a great resource to get ideas um, and graphics. But it was hard for me to put it all together in a way that really made sense when I was going to actually do a party. So let's talk about what Pampered Chef has put together for, for the consultants. If you go to Consultants Corner and then you click on Training Resources um, and then you click on Spring slash Summer 2018 Updated Materials, you're gonna find Party Experience Training you have to complete the party tr experience training for virtual parties before you will have access to the party packs. There is also um, party experience training for in-home cooking shows, and it's fantastic as well. But I really do appreciate the fact that Home Office said, make sure you do that training before you open up those party packs so that you'll know how to use it and you'll be comfortable with what they have done for us. Um, so you take the training first, and you even get a little certificate that says, yay, you did it. It, it doesn't take a huge amount of your time. Um, I think it was about 20 minutes for each um, part of it, um, for 20 minutes for the party, in-home party training, and 20 minutes for the virtual party. 
Um, and then after you have taken that, completed that, you can go to marketing image, imagery and then go from there to the party packs. So it's not under the training, it's under marketing imagery and then the party packs. And then you're going to see um, two, two options, an orange square um, that says the virtual training, I think it's orange, um, virtual training or the, um, the party, the in-home party packs. Click on the virtual and then I know it's an orange square that says training. And you're gonna have several different um, packages available to you under that virtual training. The first one is gonna be a party outline guide. And what that party outline guide does for you is um, it gives you a quick reference to the party setup page that leads you through every step of how to set up your party page on Facebook. Even for us non-techie people, um, it gives you great suggestions. Like when I first started um, setting up mine uh, a year ago, I didn't realize until I had done one, oh, I have to post things in reverse of what I want people to see. So what I want my guests to see first, I'm actually at that first day going to post last so that they will see like my greeting, what a virtual party is, what the guest special is, and so forth. Um, but they will step you through that and it's a nifty little guide for you to be able to just pull out and use. Um, then a second um, part of that is the party kickoff, exactly what you do during the party kickoff. Then the party time, your um, story outline, uh, guide and then the um, party wrap up and close and what I really like about these training packs these party packs are that they do build it around a theme so it's not just um, looking at um, what you know what are, what do you want to post today and I felt like a lot of times mine didn't have any rhyme or reason I was just posting tools and if somebody asked I posted it and you know and I didn't really have a theme with these packs um, you can actually build a theme around a couple of recipes and then the tools that are used for that. Um, another option under that training is a packet um, of, of uh, visuals, um, like the um, virtual party um, structure chart, um, just to give you an idea of what you should be working through as you do your virtual party. Then there's also consultant's guide to a successful virtual party, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in here in a minute. Then there's also video. They even did an example for us of exactly what a virtual party ought to look like. And um, they have like imaginary guests on there, uh, some videos on there, very useful things. If you are like me, somebody can give me instruction, but if they show me how to do it, it's so much better. Um, and then lastly, we also had, um, you have on there the virtual host profile and the host coaching checklist, which just helps you step through the um, host coaching, what you need to be telling your host, what you'll do for them, what they need to do to have a successful party. And it's just a nice guide so that you don't leave something out. Um, these are wonderful resources because really a virtual party is basically just what you would do in in your home party but you're doing it online and sometimes that's harder to actually become more personal and actually build a relationship but it's so important that was part of those surveys that they did that guests like to feel connected they like to feel like you're interested in what they're trying to accomplish in their kitchens and how pampered chef can help them and um, we want to be problem solvers and we want to help them with that. So we need to know how to engage them online so that it doesn't um, become an impersonal experience for them. So the first thing I did, because I am a more visual person and I need that, um, I need that reminder of what it was that I learned. Um, those brain cells don't, don't fire as fast as they used to. Um, I went online and I downloaded the um, consultant's guide to a successful virtual party. And I downloaded it and then I uploaded it to Office Max um, website and I had them put a cool little um, spiral bound um, 
binding on here with a plastic cover because yes, I drink coffee all the time and so most of my things end up getting baptized with coffee at some point in their life. Um, but this will protect it for a little while anyway, right? Um, but I had this bound so that I could refer back to this and make my own notes as I'm going through. Um, so that's what I really wanted to kind of talk to you the most because I really, I, this is just a fantastic, fantastic resource. Um, it goes through and it gives you um, an introduction of what is a virtual party. How does it work? They talk about um, your role as the consultant. Um, it gives you a crash course in Facebook um, and how to set up a party, how to actually get it set up, um, how you want to um, behave on Facebook, good versus bad behavior, because yes, some if you've done these before, you've heard about Facebook jail, and we don't want that. Um, that kind of ruins the party. <laughs> um, so it also tells, it gives you information about how to find virtual party hosts. Um, it gives you host coaching tips. Um, it talks about whether you should use a Facebook group or an event, which they strongly um, suggest that you use an event rather than a group. Um, and they give you the reasons why in here. Um, it also tells you how to build your own outline and then also um, booking and rec recruiting. It even gives you step-by-step -step instructions of how to download the party packs. So they have gone above and beyond the call of duty to give us not just content support, but also tech support. So um, yay Pampered Chef for doing that for us. Um, this, I have to say, um, I uh, was an administrator for a number of years and um, Pampered Chef has provided some of the best training I have ever been privileged to be part of with a company. Um, and we really ought to take advantage of it because we will see our business grow as a result of it, I am convinced. Um, then it goes into the party packs. So if you, after you have printed this and gone through this and you've learned the content, you're ready to start your, um, you're ready to start your virtual party, you choose a party pack and they've come up with um, different, uh, different kinds of party packs that you can um, choose one from. Um, everyday Fiesta, Fast and Fresh Weeknight Meals, One Pot Meals, Prep Ahead, and Smart Swaps. And inside, when you click on that, you get a whole bunch of content. One of the things you get is the party setup, and it includes graphics that you can use to um, set up your party. It gives you um, suggested wording that you can use. And in setting up your party, what your pinned post ought to be. Um, that's a fantastic resource just to have it. And the visuals, the, um, the graphics are very sharp. They're very um, engaging. Um, and you want to make sure that you use your own wording, of course, with that because it needs to be you. It needs to be your personality. Um, but they also give you the party kickoff, they give you game options, they give you roll call options to find out who's there and why they're there and how do they know the host, and then posts to help you build engagement, which is awesome. They also give you party time posts, so they give you uh, cooking tips that you can post, they give you product images, again, that are used to, um, that are built around that theme with those recipes, those products that are used to do those recipes. They give you um, the recipes themselves. They give you the thank you for your order that you can private message the person or your host can use those to, um, to thank their guests for orders. Um, they give party time videos. So you can go in and you can choose to upload videos to engage your, um, your guests. And that those are always popular and popular options. Um, then there's a games and engagement uh, package that you can open and it's all around, all of these are around one theme. So you're gonna find that for each party pack. Games and engagement and then booking ideas, graphics that you can use to encourage booking. Um, especially if you're uncomfortable, you know, how do you start that conversation about booking or even then recruiting? They give you ideas about that too. Reasons to become a PC consultant. They even give you a very 
cool video of someone talking about how Pampered Chef made a difference for their family as she started to um, use that as a part-time job. Um, and then they give you a party wrap up and close, um, along with visuals, thanking people, um, encouraging them to contact you, um, and letting them know that even though the party's closed, you're always open for business and you are interested in being their consultant. Um, I, I can't say enough about these party packs because I think it, it gives us the tools that we don't have to go into the virtual world and feel intimidated. Um, some people are great about coming up with their own content and can just whip it out and create a masterpiece. But then there are those of us, and I would put myself in that category, that enjoy having a little bit more structure and have someone give us some ideas about how to do that. Um, I can't say enough about the training. And I would encourage you to print out the, um, the workbook. Um, they, and again, they show you how to download all of the party packs. You know, one of the things that I am doing, I have um, two virtual parties scheduled um, for these new party packs. And then I ha have the potential of, of two or three future ones. But I am openly, I'm engaging people. I'm going on and seeing who's active that night on Facebook. And I'm texting my friends or messaging my friends and saying, hey, we've got these great new party packs. And I give them the, the names of the um, themes and say, you know, this would be a great opportunity for you to get some really cool tools in your kitchen uh, and engaging them in those, those conversations. And I have had people come back and say, no, I'm not interested right now. But I had a lot more say, I'm not interested right now, but maybe in April, maybe in May, maybe this summer. And that gives me a starting point to talk to them about what we could do. It's so much easier to engage them when I, I have a theme ready to go and I have some exciting things to share with them than just saying, hey, do you wanna do a virtual party and what would you like me to show? So I would just encourage you, um, Thanks, first of all, for taking the time to watch this video. Um, but second of all, um, I would encourage you to take advantage of the training. Um, I think they have outdone themselves on what they have provided us as consultants. And um, I know that this is going to make a huge difference in my virtual party uh, business. So thanks for joining me. And um, I look forward to seeing you maybe in Facebook land. Bye-bye.